when you are learning to code, your goal should be to learn how to use JavaScript and just code in general to build almost any idea in your head. Hey, I'm TJ and this video is a response to one of the questions in the comments of a recent video I did where I was actually explaining why asking the question what programming language should I learn first is actually a bad question that leads a lot of people down the wrong path. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below so that you can watch that video if you haven't already. But the comment that I'm going to be responding to in this video was, you know, just simply asking how to get a job as a software developer, right? And, you know, actually, here's the comment. Uh, Linus says, I'm now learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to lay a foundation. What do you recommend to learn after that if you want to land a decent job within six months? Thank you for the comment, Linus. Um, so I don't really have enough information on what you've been studying in terms of you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and I don't really know how you've been studying. So I'm just gonna give you know just general advice to everyone in terms of what you need to be doing so that you can get a job as a software developer. All right. So first of all, like it's it's good that you are learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript uh, because those are some of the basic technologies that you should be learning when starting your coding journey. But getting a job as a software developer um, isn't just about learning a list of technologies, but about one, building projects with those technologies, and two, understanding those technologies enough to be able to actually speak out loud about them and explain your code to other people. Like those are the two major things you need to do to help you to get a job because those are the two skills that software developers use each and every day, right? Each and every day developers are building stuff and discussing code, right? So um, in this video, I'm going to focus on why building projects is very important. And I'm also going to touch on the speaking out loud about your code portion in a future video. So make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so that you can see that video when it comes out. Now, it is the practical skills of using the technologies that you're learning that you really need to focus on and not just doing tutorial after tutorial. For example, I teach the students in my program how to code by using a heavily project-based approach. So as they're learning a new technology, they are forced to build a few projects first before moving on and learning something else. I see too many students in what's called tutorial hell and tutorial hell is when you are watching or doing just tutorial after tutorial and you feel like you're learning a lot but when the tutorial is done and it's just you and your computer screen you realize that you don't really have any clue where to start on your own and you then feel like you don't know what you're doing right and that is why I teach the students in my program how to code by using a heavily project based approach because after my students finish the tutorials, they now have to build projects from scratch outside of the tutorials like a real software developer. You know, right? Like module one of my program is um, HTML and CSS. And at the end of that module, my students have to build three websites of their own from scratch before they can move on to the next module. So my students go from not knowing anything about coding at all since most of them don't have any kind of like coding experience before joining the program to having built three websites of their own from scratch just in module one. I'm their mentor and tutor so they are able to you know ask me questions along the way and we also do video sessions anytime that they need help so that we can actually work on a project together and that is the same way that you are going to be doing video sessions anytime you need help from one of your software engineer co-workers. Right. But this project based approach helps to reinforce everything that they are learning in the tutorials because it also exposes a lot of things that the tutorials don't cover because things are a bit different when you actually start implementing those technologies outside of a controlled environment. And that's when the real learning actually begins. Building projects mm -hmm. helps you to really understand how to use a technology and it also helps you to build your confidence. And that's really important. The confidence thing is why I think a, a lot of people go from tutorial to tutorial because it's easy and it feels good, right? You 
when you finish a tutorial and it makes you feel good about yourself and it makes you feel like you've done something but your goal isn't really just to feel good but to learn effectively so that you can get a job as a developer you want to build confidence doing the things that software developers do every day and that's build stuff the confidence you get from doing a tutorial is nothing compared to actually building your own website from scratch so you know definitely make sure that you are incorporating building two to three projects into your learning strategy and you know in my program after learning HTML and CSS module 2 is not JavaScript no like there are other fundamental technologies that you need to learn before you even start doing JavaScript module 2 for us is them learning how to use Git and GitHub and the command line and even this module ends off with three projects as well where they have to actually use Git with the command line to push their projects from their computer to GitHub then they have to build another website and learn how to actually deploy a website and publish it to the internet on their own so like do you see like the difference between a heavily project based approach to learning versus just doing a list of tutorials right because just from the first two modules my students get to build their own websites from scratch they learn how to navigate their computer using the command line instead of their mouse they learn git and github and they learn how to publish their own websites all in just two modules right and that is the difference that a project-based approach makes on the coding journey because even if you were to stop just after those two modules you've learned and done so much that that you can't even look at websites on the internet the same anymore because you now have actually built your own websites and you've also published your own websites and that impacts you know how you actually even just interact with the web at this point you know and it is only after those two modules that we then move on to JavaScript and even the JavaScript portion is heavy in terms of practice problems and algorithms as well as numerous projects outside of the tutorials because my goal and really this should also be your goal right like when you are learning to code your goal should be to learn how to use JavaScript and just code in general to build almost any idea in your head and that's why projects are so important because projects force you to go from idea in your head to you building a working website or application and practicing this over and over again by doing multiple projects helps you to really build the confidence you need to do the job of a software developer because that's what software developers do every day and that's what's going to help you to get a job so if you want to get a job as a software developer in the next five to six months definitely make sure that you integrate a project-based approach into your learning and I know that that the first problem that a lot of beginners have is not knowing what technologies to learn and in what order so I'm gonna be putting a link below to the coding curriculum that I use to teach my students in the description to help you to figure out what technologies that you need to learn and in what order you should learn those technologies in and I know that the second problem that a lot of people have on their coding journey is not knowing what projects to build so to help you with that um, I'm gonna actually be sharing the first three projects that I have my students build in module one to help you practice building websites using HTML and CSS so I'm going to also add information on how you can actually sign up for one on one mentor sessions with me so that, you know, I can do an actual video session with you to help you to review that project and to also just help you anytime uh, that you have questions and get stuck. So if you are interested in that, definitely make sure that you check out the description below for a lot more information on the technologies that you need to learn and the order that you need to learn those in and also you know a link to actually sign up to get projects that you should build when it comes to you learning HTML and CSS uh, and for those that want to learn to code with me as their mentor using a heavily project based approach definitely make sure that you check out my website www.rootstechnology.info to learn more about my coding and career prep program so uh, like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and comment below to let me know if you found this video helpful.